how I went to bed and raised as if it was London and the Jew. I went in the 60s or the summer's afternoon. I took the bus from Butler's and she was hiding. The widow and my mom were straight out on the roads of Maine. Oh, yeah, you should have seen the sky. Lots of the folks are on the road against the day of the sun. All the lots of us in there, all the smiling faces. And I like the spots of the road. You see the big places. Factory and go to the Robin and Dare. Just yeah. gotta know that the real old prince of us is the law there. The masses are lost and breaking up the names of my ideas. I'm told my guys in the crowd, you're standing for me. Oh, we might be sure to see this time. Parts of the folks are up the road just as they will stand. All the lots of us are there around the sign of places. And I like the spots of the road. The way for dawn, the way we went again. Well, then, half my nose is from the green like a long end. So I did the dispensary, and so did all the business. And so we did my own, and then I rolled the river. Oh, 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 well, when we got to paradise, the body gave me good. There was about twenty on the bush, now we're dancing so. And now we're making it, and we're sad, and we're sad, and we're happy, and we're dancing so. And that's what we break the day, I went to play. Oh, yeah. Chambers and uh, some of the rowing songs are about particular races, but this talks a lot about Bob Chambers' his life and his attitude towards always uh, being a very straight rower and a very honest rower. Some of these people, when they got on the river, they put the oars into the women's course, it's just a cause of upset. But some of them use tricks that's even used today. They would persuade somebody to swim across the river in the way of the boat. <laughs> uh, so you'd say these to be going, but Bob Chambers was a very straight man. And, uh, and also, the delight, of course, was that they licked the cockneys. There's a lot of this licking the cockneys in these songs. 
It's all it was after Newcastle beat Chelsea in sixteen forty two. And uh Jordy Jordy wanted to see Queen Elizabeth because he, he had a bit of time before the train. <laughs> and he says No then Lizzie says uh I'm a, I hope I'm welcome here, she says, I am having trouble with rust on me leaks. <laughs> he says, you're not very warm either, that fire's terrible, she says, I, you kind of get the wood, you know. So she says, have you got a present for me? He says, well, do you like presents? Oh, she says, aye, I, 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 I'll give presents up now. There was this chap called Water and he put his duffer coat down for us. We went on the project with a clothes to open the fair. <laughs> and uh, I gave him a present, I did. I, I paid his fare to go to America to look for gangsters, gangsters and film stars. And he come back and, and he brought me a present. Jody was getting a bit twisty fierce about all this. He, he said, what did he bring you? She says he brought us a good big bag of baccy and I was, I was dying for a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and in return I bought her a bike factory in Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Johnny was thinking, hey, I've got to beat this. He said, I brought you a present in here, there you are, Lizzie. <clears throat> she says, what's that? What's that black stuff? He says, it's cool, man. She says, well, you, well, you put them on rings and root your neck. Well, no, he says, that's stupid. You think we are thick up there? <laughs> we're we're, 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 we're on the town. We're sort of you anyway, he, he, he says, you hide it on the fire. She says, you're daft bugger to put the fire out. <laughs> you hide it on the fire and booking your palace and out of the fireplace like this. And by God, the flames got so high. She started hitching up her scorch, man. <laughs> Petticoats and them ease, it says, this and save a fortune worth in petticoats. <laughs> and the trade was carried on for years and years and years. And that's how we get all my songs from the coal trade. But as well as that, we lick the companies. Oh, your companies, Al, you mun think it's very funny. For Bobby Gans and licks your arm and colours all your money. Wherever he rows, he always goes. You've heard it from Terry. The whole, oh, 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 oh. wherever he rows, he always goes. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing that Ridley used to like better than a nice hog rose. <laughs> <laughs> He's a regular locomotive speed, he's a price on a Wherever he falls with a pair of stones, and he puts on a very stone. Sing! The 
mystery looked very wild. He took the lead from Bob at first, to the god of Bjorn Mild. But Harry came from the office then, saying now there they tend to hate. The reporter of the Chronicle said that Greeny then turned white. Now Bobby's left both green and white, Kelly Everson and I, and could I put the monkey on, stop the company's draw. This green would fear old Bob again, but he cannot raise the stake. The mother think to catch him fast asleep, but he's always by the way. Shakespeare says, we'll never see his like again. He one day don't just think to hurt poor working men. Well, if he can, he isn't laugh, so get the young money on. For where he shows, he always goes, the world oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. coincides with the American Civil War. So of course the big topical issue of the of the day was what was going on on the other side of the Atlantic. And it did affect uh, affected the economy here and everything, you know, just as things in Europe affected, things in America affected us then. And um, so uh, perhaps um, inappropriately in November 1861 uh, a group came to Newcastle and performed uh, the original Christie's Minstrels, and uh, I really must have seen uh, these because he's obviously very influenced <laughs> by these, these Lafayette Minstrel songs that, that were performed in Newcastle in that day. Uh, it brought a lot of these tunes were pitched on these Minstrel songs that he heard. And uh, this one in particular is the, the most famous of, of, those, of those songs, um, Dixie's Land. And for this song, um, Really dressed as a keelman on the time. A keelman uh, for, for, for uh, Holman's brickworks just by the Tyne Bridge. And uh, of course, there would be real keelmen in the audience. These were, these were the real jack lads of the, of the time. You know, these, these, these boys were, were the top, top dogs on the river. Uh, on the, and in the city, in those days, you know, they had their own hospital and everything. They were real top men. And, uh, but of course, he's it, 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 not such a great keelman. Um, because in the, in the song, um, he, he, he goes aground on a, on a sandbank and, and then has to, has to sit, sit in the boat all night waiting for the high tide to float him off again. So this must have been hilarious to the, to the real river men who were in the audience. You know, because they, they probably experienced things like that. Came across people who had experienced things like that. Probably a real, real big joke at the time. So well, this is the Blade and Keelman, and to the tune of Dixie's Land. Oh, 
His father made and mended cuckoo clocks. And so they called him Little Cuckoo Jack. And um, anyway, uh, he, he picked up, because he was a waterman, went out with his boats and knew the river, he, he picked up the, the dead and the undead, the the the, the, the drummy. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, the corporation, in their wisdom, paid them ten shillings for 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 livens and fifteen shillings for deadens. <laughs> many, many people suspected that he didn't try to steal the drummy at all. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, Wilson had just died. In December 1860, Wilson died. In July 1861, Richard Granger, who designed, the architect who designed much of the finer parts of Newcastle, died six months later. So, uh, uh, Ridley, who always wrote about people, not, not about events, wrote about people, uh, had, to, had to write these people into his song. And this song, originally called Newcastle Eccentrics, became known as Newcastle Celebrities, and it's about all of these great celebrities of Newcastle. Some dead, some still alive, William Armstrong and, and Claspar and, and Chambers still still living of course at this time. But so he included them all in this epic song of his Newcastle celebrities. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, we're going from a famous street hooker to a very famous engineer, Jody Stevenson. And, uh, and of course, he son Robert, who invented the high level bridge and the high level pub and the high level ratters. <laughs> 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 but unfortunately, the bridge is standing well and it's been painted, but the roast is getting another run. <laughs> Great cheers for Stevenson, George and Robert Stevenson. Long may their names be heard on the backs of the Cody Time. Now, at the research department, the ferret here <laughs> dug out the tune from John Barleycorn, which gives us a clue that Ridley, like many of us today, was fun to drink because John Barleycorn basically <laughs> taking a song drink. I reckon one of the first things Stevenson did when he made a bit of money with the Lowers was invest in their castle breweries. <laughs> so there's a lot of history in this. It's, it's, an old, it's an old English drinking song, and we have five old English drinkers here. <laughs> <laughs> they might well have given by us one as well. <laughs> George Stevenson was as great a man as any in the world. You'll find his money in Scotland now in the places where he He was a poor body's man, and he used to drive a chase. And then he'd seen men that neighbor shows his daily bread to win. Great years of Stevenson, joy for Stevenson. George once got a fireman's job, he's 14 shillings a week. And next he got a brakeman's job, he then got a wife at sea. He married one funny hens, and her father was a working man. And Robert, he was their only child, the cleverest in the land. <laughs> Side while the one and we the walls and glass of the clocks, and the floor was not for clay. There was three glass panes for windows, and the rest was made of wood. Now there stands a four street building where the art that was once
is perhaps the oddest of the, of the songs. It's called The Shields Last For Me. I'm all being there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I once got ran off a shield's last. I'm not telling you what for. Um, but the, the song itself is, is uh, a song composed entirely of other song titles. So every word in, in the song, apart from the occasional and book the, and, and the other little bits that nail it all together, uh, are actually titles to other songs. Uh, there was one that had me completely stumped, because there's a line in here that says, Ben Bolt cried from the old armchair, you all know the old armchair, what's all the steer, Kimmer? And I looked at asked, what's all the hold on a minute here? So I had to look it up, I was forced, I, I went into his, his mode and I, I, I furgled about on that internet and I found a lovely recording on, on one of them cylinders that had been dumped onto the net of a, a Scots woman singing, what's all the steer, Kimmer? And, it, it was, and it, it's the same thing. And it means, what's all the fuss about my kinsman? He said, <laughs> translating it. <laughs> 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 I've just got that you know, the secret, you know what I mean? And, uh, so it will, it will have to remind me of the rhythm of this. Right, it's. Uh, that's the one. It's just like an old grandfather clock, too. Yeah, you know, my grandfather's clock was a little bit hard Some may young chaps in May, and the first place that we called in was the cottage by the sea. There was a young lass in there to calm your Nancy Till. She was dancing hard for Brinkley to garden hair and chill. Oh, your lass is all the truth, I'll tell you, he died inside the place where the lass lives and we. Oh, your lass is all. The truth I'll tell you, be, and then never argue, money, there's a shield's last for me. Now, income Billy Pison, the land with me, Clyde, he says, choose to wait for the word, and here I'll be the right. Then, income Annie Lobby, a land with Robin Gray, the jolly wagon of Brown in Doran's arts to take the wagon away. Oh, your lass is on the truth, I'll tell you, and 
This evening are, uh, are songs that some of them are, are, are very old, some of them are uh, old, some of them are new, some of them are, are, are a bit uh, strange to say the least. But there's one, a man the man, that stands out head and shoulders, and it's the song that tells the tale of the broken hearted young key lad. It was our he who loved. With a young lass from the 18th. <coughs> and he called for. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. Are you singing the last words? The what? Are you singing the last words? Um, <laughs> no, but they were different in style. What's that? Without yeah, the name of a drum chip put in this.
that's all the songs that George Ridley wrote that we know about. So you know he wrote a few others, we don't have the words of them. Oh, 
video and oh, recording, loads of stuff. So if you've got Sky, watch Sky News. Um, Radio Newcastle and BBC were up at the monument this afternoon video recording stuff. So there's all sorts of stuff going to be on the telly very shortly. Oh, you might have missed all of this. <laughs> use your, use your, use your, use your uh, BBC iPlayer stuff. And please take a glass of milk the bar when you can. And I'm sure we can get at least one more song. I mean, they say they've got nothing else, but I mean, talent that you wish you could play. Something else. One more round of applause, please. <laughs> Sang it when 
find a fresh heart. She's like a king, my son. I'm going to be a king. 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 I'm going to be a